In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be putting the most ridiculous, insane, five minute craft makeup hacks to the test. Hello everybody, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's that time of year again. Every couple of months, I come out of my hibernation just to do this video trend that you guys cannot get enough of that makes me go absolutely insane, and that is trying out five minute craft makeup hacks. We do these every couple of months. You guys are always obsessed with them because, spoiler alert, the hacks are always absolutely ridiculous, useless, stupid, scams. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So we're gonna start with your base. Have you ever needed to blend in your base but have only had fruit and not a beauty blender? I'm, I am gonna kill myself. I can't do this today. Oh my God, where's my beauty sponge? I don't know, I can't find it, I lost it. Do I have any makeup brushes? No, I don't. I was gonna throw this but I thought let me not. <laughs> no, they're all gone. What do I do now? Let me go up to my fridge and grab my peach. Are we in Call Me By Your Name? That's a niche joke. <laughs> no, everyone gets that movie. James and the Giant Peach. Oh, that was clever. This bitch is so stupid. You could not pay me any amount of money to sit in front of a camera. Well, I guess I'm about to do it right now. <laughs> For free. For free. <laughs> I seem to be out of foundation. Oh, it's chilly. Well, spoiler alert, I mean, if you couldn't tell, or if you couldn't guess, the peach is not doing a great job of actually blending this foundation in. Doing absolutely nothing, actually. How do you get that little spot on your nose? <laughs> I literally could not get that hole filled. I think this, this <laughs> all right, well, that's my uh, foundation all complete. Oh. Ooh, what's this little thing in there? Is that blood? Has he ever eaten food? Oh my God. What's next? You want to set it in place, right? No concealer, nothing else? Or? No, you just want to set that found, the foundation routine in place. So then just... Oh, deodorant. You've got to be f kidding me. You can, this cannot be serious. Oh my God, so she used a f Old Spice deodorant to mattify her face. I'm already gonna let, this is not gonna work. I'll already let you know right here, right now. This is not gonna work. Here goes fucking nothing. There we go, so mattified. Perfect. Oh my God, so slay. <laughs> Let's zoom in. Let's show them how the skin looks with this amazing, perfect, flawless hack. So mattified, so slay mama. This is what I, this is my point. My point is bitch, like, you are ugly. Now, Trevor, when you look at this look, what do you think it's missing? Um, a wig? Exactly. I also <laughs> think it's missing a wig. What the fuck? So, this next time. What? Okay, oh my god, wig, question mark? Oh, hat, question mark. Ooh. Oh. I remember heard that there's like four strands of hair coming out of that entire hat. So you realize this isn't gonna work like you want it to, right? The whole point was that she has hair extensions that she clipped onto the inside rim. <laughs> this hat is so funny to me. God save her, yes. <laughs> Wait, hold on, zoom it out a little bit. Is it the thanks that I get for putting you bitches on? What's the name, B.O.B. Silicone New Ball? Oh, silicone. Holy shit. Holy tit, is what I should say. <laughs> oh my god, it's not funny. Oh my god, she cut an eyebrow out of a silicone boob pad and is using that as an eyebrow stencil. How do they even know? This looks like a, like a mini portable speaker that they would sell you at the airport for an overpriced amount of money. But they are in fact nipple covers. <gasps> Oh my god, this is a not pleasant sound. <laughs> I don't know if that's really the eyebrow shape that I'm going for today. Oh, that looks good. Oh, you know what? <laughs> this is a horrifying. What the literal? Okay, now we're gonna dip into cool tone brow shade. Oh. Okay, just filling this in with some brown shadow. All right, are we ready for the grand reveal? 
Let's take my titty off. Flash us. Perfect. Not only did it not put literally anything on my eyebrow, but it also removed the shitty foundation underneath. So this right. is amazing. Now, when you have an eyebrow that looks that good, don't just sit there and go, I wish I could like decorate this a little more. My eyebrow? Yeah. No, I've never it thought that in my life. <laughs> Spooling it through. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> In her eyebrow hairs. You know what? Out of all the things that we've seen for Five Minute Crafts, this one isn't the worst. <laughs> Do you feel bonita? <laughs> I feel bonita. Yay! Because... <laughs> That's like a horse. Yay! Pina, the horse is here. This is kind of... Concept. Right, like I feel like there's something here. I don't know what it is, because it's not this, but I do feel like there is potential for something to be cool with this. That's cute. Why is that cute? What's your name, baby? on your ball? Stay. Oh, stayed on, look at that. Oh, an airbag, okay. Oh, some colors. Oh God. Oh. Oh my god, wait, that actually kind of looks not awful. Oh my god, this, oh, of course, this hack. Miss her. Miss her every day of my life. Okay, ready? How is it murky? I just know that bright is hot. <laughs> I did say I was sick. So, we're just gonna start off by grabbing our bag, and we're gonna put a little bit of yellow right on this tip here. And now, I'm just gonna grab the red, and we're gonna put this around the bag, around the yellow, I mean. See, just like this, it's giving piping bag. Now we're just gonna go like this. Oh my God. I love that. <laughs> I can buy myself flowers. To be fair, like out of all the ones that we've tried, this doesn't seem like it'd be that far off from like actually working. I was wrong, of course, but how many more of these do I have left? I'm okay. done. So the next one is you know, at this point you've mastered eyeliner, but don't you always struggle on where to start the eyeliner? This, act oh my, I love the disclaimer that they legally have to put there. This activity is performed by actors in a controlled environment. Please use caution if you plan to replicate. So my favorite part is that that looks fucking awful on her. Uh, she didn't even do the inner corner. The whole point of doing that is, just give me the fucking bobby pen. So the whole reason why this hack exists in the first place is because a lot of people struggle with doing inner corner eyeliner wings. It is very, very tricky, I'm not going to lie. And some people, such as myself, have what I think are called bilateral folds. See how I have like this little flap of skin that covers over my inner corner, right? See, like right there and then right there on both eyes. If I go like this, see how those folds are no longer there because the skin is stretched? So by putting this bobby pin on those things, it's supposed to pull the skin, which then allows you to make a more sharp inner corner wing. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I don't actually mind mine. Like I think that mine looks cute when I'm not wearing makeup. However, I have actually looked into getting mine surgically removed because I love doing inner corner wings and having those flaps there makes it really, really difficult. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we have the inner corner wings drawn. Now if I remove this. <laughs> I need to go to Tijuana. <laughs> I'm gonna get those things cut off. Well, ignore everything that I just said. It doesn't work. Wait, hold on. We need hair. We need the hair department. Oh, thank you. Get this girl a living proof sponsor. <laughs> that did literally nothing. Oh my God. She burnt a Q-tip on a straightening iron to warm up the, the, the cotton schwab and then used it to curl her eyelashes. It's not gonna work. It's definitely hot. Is it gonna like set my house on fire? We have the first one. Okay, 
for pushing them upwards. I don't know if you guys have seen the hacks before, but this is why some people will actually carry a lighter around in their makeup kit. And whenever it comes time to curl their eyelashes, they'll take the lighter and they'll hold their eyelash curler right above it for a couple of seconds to heat up the metal. And it's the same effect as curling or using a straightening iron on your head hair, but it's just your eyelash hair instead. This in theory would be doing the same effect, but um, it's not at all. Perfect, another waste my fucking time. Now what's the one step you're missing, James? My lips, Lewis. It is. Oh my God, my perfectly good lipstick tube that still has lip products in it, I can't get my product out of? Oh my God, oh no. Well, don't worry, I have macaroni to save the day. This is a perfectly good brand new lipstick. Like I don't even need to. It's not anymore. Are you fucking kidding me? Here goes nothing, everybody. Let's shove this macaroni into this lipstick. Can you see that? Wait, zoom it in. It looks like those hydraulic press YouTube videos where they like squish weird things inside of it. Whoa. I mean, when you talk pigment, you're talking rigatoni. Yeah, it's not the macaroni that's doing it. It's the fucking ColourPop lipstick that has a good formula. I mean, come on. I, I mean, yeah, honestly, not the worst act we've tried from them. Let's be real, it does work. I don't know how sanitary this is to carry around in your purse or your bag if you're running low. You could always just grab like a little chopstick or something and scrape it out into like a little container. Same thing. Okay, a big piece of tape. Oh my God, is she gonna contour her face? Oh, 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 eyeliner. Yes, okay. You know what, you guys? Okay, to end off this video, I'm not even actually gonna try this one today because we actually just tried out this hack in a brand new YouTube short. How many times have we all done our eyeliner and it's turned out absolutely awful and you wanna take it off, but wiping away your black eyeliner with a makeup wipe makes everything so messy, it's so hard to clean up. When I saw this makeup hack, I could not believe my eyes. So we already actually put it to the test. Go check out the video. We actually post YouTube shorts a couple of times a week. So if you guys are missing out on those, go check them out, they're a lot of fun. I'm gonna leave it there because you guys need to go watch it to see. On that note, you guys, that is this full face of our five minute craft makeup hacks all complete as usual. They're fucking awful. For the most part, almost every single hack we tried out today was absolute garbage. Peach foundation, no. Nipple cover eyebrows, no. Burning a Q-tip for your lashes, no, absolutely not. However, however, for the first time ever, there was a couple of hacks that were actually Somewhat okay. And I hope that they were enough to make today's video enjoyable for you because Lord knows it was not for me. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps out the channel quite a lot and it would mean the world to me. Also, if you've not already, make sure you click that big red subscribe button as well as the bell icon next to it so you guys never miss an upload from me. If you wanna follow me on my other social media accounts, on my Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter are all just James Charles. And my TikTok makeup page is jcharlesmakeup. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.